May 20th, Monday, a uh, Meredi Horam Kirkter, six in Menafio or Menasio, Meo, in Krakovia, their holy place. That's when you see that cross in these writings. There, oh, it's the holy place in Krakovia, but they don't do it otherwise. Or this is the holy thing, and you know. Uh, this is a true and faithful relation of what passed for many years between Dr. John D. and some spirits, 1659. Um, note D. D. Edward Kelly, sitting with me in my study, told me that after going to Ruthian to Lord Lasky, he had many, many apparitions and diverse matters declared unto him of the state of Christendom and so on. He said, moreover, fault was found with my manner of standing before Stephen, I should have made some more ample declaration of my calling and knowledge in these our actions. Secondly, that I did mistake the phrase spoken unto me at Prague of the rod binding up, for he said that Michael D. should die, that I should thereby be afflicted, and diverse other things he told me, and were, among other, that he was willing to be ready to leave me when he should be called. For, he said, our actions shall be cut off for some of our unworthiness, and so on. All which things were so grievous unto me, as I was in manner, ready to sound. And my distress was the greater because, after a sort, I was barred from requiring the presence of any of our spiritual friends, till Stephen had been rebuked by the Lord, and I had vowed to obey their commandments and instructions, whereby I was driven to beseech God to consider my cause and grief, who unfeignedly desired to be his true servant, and being desirous to obey them, staying of my voice. For the presence of his good ministers, I was contended to offer up my obedience herein for a sacrifice, and ready to receive this distress and affliction as a punishment for my sins, awaiting his will and pleasure. 1585, April, our actions to be cut off for our unworthiness. Edward Kelly said that it shall not be as amiss to bring, uh, said it shall not be amiss to bring forth the shoe stone and assay what the good will of God would be herein. D said, I fetched the shoe stone, and after it had been set about a quarter of an hour, Edward Kelly espied in it a little naked boy with a white cloth scarf from under his navel, hanging down unto his knees. Okay, so his private part was fully covered, so it wasn't naked, um, but naked otherwise, but been a better way to put it, right? Uh, the hair of his head is short as of a young child. And about that time came the Lord Albert Lasky unto us, who sat down by us. He had a little circle of air in his hand. There is a light in the stone, as if there were the shining of the sun in it. Apparition is in the margin. And said, oh, the, the boy, pure Creavis Deus omnio spiritus oris suaque etiam spiritus defendant eo defendant suas eo in nomin suo sperantes. Adam Kelly said, He throweth up his circlet and catcheth it again three times. He standeth still and saith nothing more yet. The uh, pure, you know, the boy said, Perforatus a uh, domino bakor. Edward Kelly said, Now he is turned into a water which goeth round about, and in the midst of it is blood. Now he is returned to his former shape again. The pure, the poor, you know, um, that said, the end of all flesh is at hand, and the sickle of the highest shall reap down the mountains. 
The valleys shall be without fruit, and the seed of man shall be accursed. And in the margin it says, Prophets, Edward Kelly said, Now he turneth his face to you, D. Pure, the better, the boy said. Who is he that the Lord rejoiceth in, are on whom the heavens look with merry countenance, whose feet are not a burden to the earth, and in whom is the force of the soul comforted? I is he that shall rejoice in the Lord. Even he is that goeth out of himself, and beholdeth himself, saying, O thou carcass, thou art a sepulcher for me, neither am I placed in thee for thine own beauty, but that the Lord may be magnified, and his creatures dignified. He it is that shaketh of himself, and putteth on the armor of affliction, praising and extolling the garland of the God of hosts, before that great wear, and in despite of her congregation, he it is, that forsaketh his own will, to do the will of him that created him, whosoever therefore doth his own will, to the servants of perdition, but he that expecteth the will of God is anointed. Behold, therefore, because ye do also, because, well, because you do so, and have beheld yourselves, not in yourselves, have knowledge, have acknowledged the power of God, and the truth of his message, your honor shall be great. Therefore, fear not, for lo, the garland is prepared for you, and rest is sealed unto you, of the highest unto you, your wives, children, and servants. In the margin, Domina Acceptatis Nostrorum Servitium. He said, Blessed be thy name forever, O Eternal, Almighty, and Most Merciful, our God and King of Glory. And it's important when one's having some of these experiences, just just continue the ritual and worshiping what you worship. You don't have to, oh, this showed up, so I'm going to have to worship this. And, you know, some people are going to say that, but that's not really the thing. Um, so the pure, you know, the boy continues. If the sun shine not in vain, if the stars move not, but by... Vaxiation... And discourse, moving things. It's kind of blurred, so that it looks like vaccination. Um, discourse. Oh, by variation. Variation, yeah, that makes more sense. And by variation, discourse, moving things. Alternatum to an end, if the earth stands still. Because she is so created, much less ought. Man to despair in the mercies and promises of God, which are not without a cause, neither any time spoken without effect. I remember thee, Lasky, saith the Lord, and I will chasten thee for thy sins. And behold, I swear unto thee as I have done. But humble thyself, this body of thine shall turn into dust. Take heed, therefore, that it defileth not the greater part. For unto him that dieth a sinner, vengeance is judgment. But if thou live according unto my laws, and gratify thyself within my will, that thou forsake the world for my sake, and do the works of righteousness, because I have called thee, before me, I will add unto thy years, and will not blot out thy name out of my remembrance. Be not therefore a man, but the sealed servant of the highest. Rejoice in him that created thee, and when I command thee to strike, follow me, for I will make the way very broad for thee. Behold, I am mindful of any covenant made unto thee, 
the seventh day of September, in the year four score and three, I will establish unto thee that fortitude, both in true wisdom and victory, and I will make thee mighty as a cornerstone in the angle of my temple. If thou turn, if thou do the will of him that speaketh unto thee, if thou become a marble stone, speaking justice and verity, the mysteries of the cross light upon thee, and let thy sons be blessed in thee. I greatly thirst after Stephen, for the course of all things are at hand. Behold, I will bless him, that he may leave blessing unto thee. Behold, I will place thee unto him as his right leg, and he shall stand. But his wicked garments I will cut asunder. Yea, I will send in the fire of wrath and dissension, and I will take away the buttons from his breast. I have given unto him three wicked nations, that they may grind under him as a slavish as slavish captives. When I come in one week, behold, I strike, and those that are proud become poor and desolate. The outward face of things shall be changed, and the whole world shall say, Lo, here is the finger of the highest. Rise, therefore, and with speed before Stephen, but the league table thou shalt leave behind thee. I will reveal myself in thy proper shoestone. Uh, Dexa Quarite Victorium. And in the margin we have Albert Lasky, Anno 1583, the 7th of September, Mortlaca Libro 10, If, Tres, and Pea, Nationes, Dat A, St. Dignus, Di, Mensa, Fuderia, Ea Mio, Praprio, Epide, Mystico, and O in brackets for some reason. Um, he said, Deo Nostro, Anapotente, Patre, Totus, Concilionius, Eo Misericorium, Planestimo, Sit Omnis, Honor Laus, Benedictio, Gloria Eo, Imperium, Nunc Eo, Semper, Amen, Amen, Amen. And we have here a note I did communicate May 21st, the Tuesday. Wait. Uh, I did communicate, and this was the third time within Easter receiving Primo cum Humbate El Biscum Raphale Confessus, etc., that all manner of ways I might have a clean and quiet conscience. The divine acceptance of services. They're being told to seek the victory. And the God Almighty, consolation, mercy, dominion, 